Hello, my name's Stuart Parker and welcome to Parker Furniture Workshops. I've been a joiner cabinet maker for over 25 years and I hope this video helps with your DIY project. How to make a base plate for your router. But before we commence work, please remember to always wear your health and safety equipment. I've removed mine today for camera purposes. Basically a base plate is just a sheet of man-made board, it could be anything. In this case we've got MDF, but I wouldn't normally use any thicker than half inch. If you use 18 mil it's too thick and the cutter has to pass too through much, through too much. So I would use, in this case, we've got a bit of nine mil MDF. All it is is perfectly square. We found the center of the board by joining corner to corner where the cross meets. We've bored a 30 mil hole. In the bottom of the router, I fit a 30 mil bore. That's why I've drilled a 30 mil hole. This base plate will fit snugly over the top of the router. Then when I start cutting, the router will pass through this hole and cut its center of it perfect. There are many different uses for this. One of the things we use here in the shop, if we're routing out large amounts of areas and we don't want the router to tip whilst we're in use, as it sometimes does, we basically put it in the base plate and this will stop this. It stops it rocking. This is particularly useful when doing jigs and templates on tabletops, etc. All we simply do is lower the cutter into the hole and off we go. I don't even need to fix the router to the base plate because it's quite a tight, snug fit. Some people don't use to use a collet within the router. They simply lower the router into the piece of man-made board and then screw the router to that. That's okay, that's fine, but we don't choose to use that. So all you simply do, as I say, is if you're gonna go for the collet option, is drill the size of the hole, the size of your collet, which normally comes with your router. Then obviously when you commence work, the router will pass through the cutter and at dictated heights, this will stop the work from beveling out. An extremely useful piece of kit and I hope you enjoyed making yours as much as we did here in our shop. So that's how you make a base plate for your router.